Good morning everybody. In this video I'd like to give you a top up uh, video of the uh, induction heater that I built several weeks ago. Um, what we've been doing is we've been experimenting with different uh, amounts of coils on the main uh, heating area for the crucible. Uh, we started off at 9 then we went down to 7 and I think we're down to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're down to 6 coils now. So I've got everything set up and uh, I've got the water running. I've got the fans running. Everything's powered. I've got the fans powered from my um, the desktop power supply there. So um, all we need to do now is to turn it on and I'm going to melt. I've got a pot full of scrap silver here and uh, I'm going to see just how long it takes to uh, melt that this time on six coils. So um, turn the power on. That's the Cisco unit fired up there. So all remains to do now is to uh, turn on the main power switch and uh, there she's away in motion. So I'll give it a couple of minutes just to see how long it takes. There's some heat coming already. I'm going to make sure everything's running, cooling. I'm not going to put the oscilloscope on it this time because we've already done that and uh, just stand back now and wait and see what happens. I'm actually trying out my new um, 4D uh, action camera here actually rather than the mobile phone it's got a lot wider angle lens. I'll let you have a look at it, it's relatively cheap. So, anything happening yet? Certainly a lot of heat coming out. So we've tried it on the uh, nine coils, then seven, and we've actually gone down to six. Because we found out that uh, with nine coils, it was heating up more at the bottom than it was at the top. So this time, um, it'll heat up more evenly. And to heat the metal from from about the middle here rather than at the bottom. They really are excellent uh, power units these Cisco systems. This one puts out 66 amps DC and it's using about 54 of those amps to drive this induction heater. So it's got a little bit power in, a little bit to spare basically. So there we are, already glowing red at 3 minutes 22 seconds. This is what I do, I use um, bits of scrap silver off old um, milk jugs and things, there's some legs off one there. Another bits of silver that I can get from anywhere to make jewellery with. So she's well glowing already now and it's uh, four minutes. I think we timed it last time, it was it was less than ten minutes before the, the crucible was melted. But as you can see there, the top of the crucible is hot at the same time as the bottom. Before it was heating up at the bottom that's with too many coils on them. The less coils you use, the better it is. Um, we've also changed out the um, the current tube from 3 sixteenths up to a quarter. That's a lot thicker tube now. We've got them we've bypassed the, um, the actual electrics by bending the copper pipes outwards there as you can see and uh, put some flexi uh, neoprene rubber tubes on. That's to keep it well away from the uh, from the tank itself. Just got to make sure that doesn't touch there. There we go. The silver's gone. 
and it's rapidly disappearing there and that is now five minutes and there we are now completely molten complete molten mass in five minutes so I'll turn off the power and let that cool down but leave the heating going obviously so we've got a molten mass in the bottom there now probably about an ounce of silver um, quite impressive so runs much better on five uh, six coils rather than nine it came with it with a nine and as I said we've changed it out for a fatter fatter uh, copper tube to a quarter inch ball rather than three sixteenths and uh, we check out the cooling and it's not even lukewarm so that's five five minutes for one ounce of silver and uh, quite impressive and that uh, that silver there is still molten now even after I've turned it off after a minute so um, that's the update and uh, thank you all again for watching bye for now